We turn now to the head of the Republican National Committee, Ronna McDaniel, who joins us this morning from RNC headquarters in Washington. Welcome, Madam Chairman. The Republicans, I know you think, are going to have a good day on Tuesday. So if they do, why will they have had a good day? Well, it's about the results. And we just saw on Friday the great job numbers that 250,000 jobs were added to the economy. On average, in 2018, we've added 218,000 jobs a month. That wages grew over 3% for the first time in a decade. And we've delivered on, on things that we've ran on, taking on the opioid crisis, funding our military, taking care of our veterans. Uh, so we have a record of results, and the Democrats have a record of resistance and obstruction, and they're not putting forward uh, ideas or a vision for this country. So I think that's why voters, when they go to the polls, are going to uh, put Republicans back in the majority. Included in the list you just gave there was not what the president has been focused on in an ad that he released this week that uh, had in it a Mexican cop killer. What did you, what was the message of that ad? Well, I think the point is the president's a problem solver, and we have this caravan headed towards our country. We have an immigration policy that is not working for our country, and it's time to, for, for once and for all for Democrats and Republicans to work together to solve uh, our immigration problem. And we need comprehensive immigration reform. The president is leading on this issue. We haven't heard anything from the Democrats, and I think that ad, along with the issues at the border that we're seeing with these caravans continuing to grow, with uh, asylum claims that up 1,700 percent in the past eight years. We have an issue, and we have to solve it. And the pro president's a problem solver. He takes on issues. He doesn't kick them down the road. That was not the message that members of your own party took from that ad. Let me quote just a few. Senator Jeff Flake called it sickening. The former Republican chairman of uh, Florida said the president, by running this ad, was a despicable divider. John Kasich, Ohio governor, said all Americans should reject this ad and its motives. So as Republican chair, are you proud of that ad? I think it's disgusting what this man did, that he came into our country illegally twice, that he wasn't deported and, and, and prevented from ever coming back to this country, and he killed two police. Uh, this is one instance. It is something that should alarm every American. We do not want to see this continue. We know that the vast majority of the people coming to this country are seeking economic opportunity. But we have a system that has failed, that this criminal came into our country twice and was able to kill police. And that disgusting is what is and sickening and disgusting to me. And that's what everybody should be focusing on. How do we prevent this from happening again? The president's right. putting forward a, a, an immigration plan saying, let's get rid of the visa lottery. Let's get rid of Let chain migration. Let's focus on merit-based immigration, merit immigration, and let's strengthen our borders. Where are the Democrats? They've been so silent I on this caravan. We need a, a comprehensive immigration reform. So I just don't want to mistake what you said, though. So uh, you didn't mention whether you were proud or not of the ad. You've got Republicans in your own party saying it's sickening, seeks to characterize a whole group of people by the disgusting, awful actions of one. And so I just want to, from an immoral point, as the I chair of the party, I disagree with their assessment. You... I just okay. Yeah. Okay. I disagree so just... with that assessment. I think the ad is highlighting the fact that one individual got through the cracks and killed cops. That should make every American upset, and we need to fix our immigration system. And the president's leading the way, just like he has with deregulation and tax cuts and all the things that have gotten our economy humming. Because that's why Americans put a businessman in the White House. They wanted a problem solver. They wanted somebody who got things done at a quicker pace. Okay. Than the Let me regular ask, Washington bureaucracy. And once again, he's tackling a tough issue, and Democrats are nowhere to be found. Okay, Madam Chairwoman, that's all the time we have.